Now let's head over to Asia really quickly here. Uh, Asian stocks posting another day of declines. Kathy Yang tracking the markets for us. Joining us now from the front, Kathy. Hey, Chris, as the G8 gets underway in Italy, investors here in Asia are searching for assurances from the world's leaders. It was the absence of the positive news and that recovery that drove stocks down a sixth straight day. That makes it the longest losing streak since September. Finance leading that drop after Japan reported discouraging economic data. Machinery orders posted a surprise drop for a third straight month, fanning concern over a global recovery. That same data driving the topics index in Tokyo to its deep fall in three weeks. The Nikkei 225 index fell a sixth straight session. The Hang Seng here in Hong Kong dropped a third straight day. And a milestone today for the Australian stock market. They've erased gains for the year today, becoming the region's only market that is lower in 2009. This even on a day Australia reports consumer confidence jumped in July to the highest level in 19 months. The Shanghai Composite Index fell a second straight day. That drop led by lenders and continued concern the government will curb credit growth. Now, the markets are shut today in Indonesia for the elections, but all the action is in the unofficial vote count. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono stretching his lead in the second presidential election. He's headed for a majority victory. Back to you, Chris. Kathy, thank you so much.